We have all had our crazy shooting, just lights out accurate days. Every one of us have. And this is likely caused by many factors. You know, perfect conditions, maybe you just have really calm nerves that day, or maybe, just maybe, it has to do with the pellets. So let's first look at one of my best days ever out at the range. And this is at 100 yards shooting my Edgun Matador. So on this day, I laid down three groups at 100 yards, all under one inch. One of my buddies says, how about if you try shooting this plant way down range? Of course, I am incredibly confident from this day of shooting. And we put out some wind flags so we can see, you know, tiny variations in the wind. And I go to work, <laughs> go to work on this plant. And all these shots are one after another. I will show you the miss. The rest of this shooting session was just picking leaves off this plant. I was, <laughs> I was literally turning this thing into the Dark Knight from Monty Python. It was so much fun. Meditarians, I'm very sorry for that graphic torture of plant life. One thing's for sure, days like this are not random. They're not just chance. It is the result of all elements coming together perfectly on a perfect day, under perfect conditions, with perfect ammunition and a perfect weapon. And when I decided that, well, we all decided that the poor plant had finally had enough, and I decided to put it out of its misery. <laughs> Why does this happen? Why do we get a tin of pellets that just shoot lights out in our guns? You almost don't want to shoot them. That's how good they're shooting. <laughs> well, I have an idea. The shooting on that very fine day was done with my Edgun Matador. And it was done with this now empty tin of pellets. For those who have shot JSB pellets, you probably have noticed the evolution of the tins over the course of the last couple of years. From Pyramid Air, which is a distributor of pellets and air guns in the United States, the front of the tin used to look like this, the back like this. Later, the front stayed the same. The back became like a more general sticker. And then finally, they're now selling them with this nicer, aesthetically red sticker on the front, that same sticker on the back. All the while, Air Guns of Arizona was selling them with the same sticker on the front, but no sticker on the back. Rather, there was a small tab here, and that tab showed the exact diameter of the pellets. And JSB would sell 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, and shooters put a lot of stock in that because we came to discover that our barrels, our guns, preferred one size over the other. In short, it's my belief that, for whatever reason, the pellets that were in this tin were the perfect size for my barrel, which gave me 500 shots of incredible accuracy out of this tin. JSB 18.1s have given me as small as half inch groups at 100 yards or as bad as two and a half inch groups with the same gun, same barrel, uh, very similar conditions and it really makes you wonder not about the quality of the pellets but more of the, the peculiarities of each barrel and what they're all potentially capable of if we only feed them what they want. A lot of guys, myself included, have tried to use these at some stage of the game try to measure the diameter of the pellet head. But the truth is that you just can't get a, a reliable, accurate reading with these. Even with really sensitive digital calipers, much better than this one, you'd have to place it in the exact same spot every single time. It just isn't feasible. It's been tried and failed many, many times. A more precise instrument needed to be developed. So, with the help of a very clever engineer who I will keep anonymous for the time being. I have this device and it's something I'm going to use in upcoming episodes. This is a pellet sizer. So what we essentially have here is a very sensitive digital caliper. Sensitive up to one ten thousandth of an inch. Uh, not cheap. These run between two and three hundred dollars alone. After that we have um, some very very clever engineering here. Specifically how this works is with the aid of a couple adjustment screws, I can place a pellet in there and, and get an exact readout on the diameter of that pellet. So, in the future videos, what I'm going to do is measure entire tins of pellets. I will sort the pellets by tin. I'll sort them by size, mixing up tins. Um, I will have blind 
tests for all of these, as well as null tests, or um, you know, just straight from the tin. I'm going to do this very scientifically to make sure that I don't create any bias when I'm shooting. So this is going to take a while. I ask you to be patient with me. I want to do this by the book, completely scientific. So it's coming up. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.